by one of my Patreon subscribers, contributors. Uh, they sponsor, support, uh, in a way, some of these videos. I was asked if he could talk, if I would talk about dogs. He plans on coming here in about a year, and it'll be just him and his dog. And so he just wanted to know what life was like with dogs here, what goes on with dogs. So I told him I'd put together a video about it. And, you know, as I think about it, it's, it's really a difficult thing for me to, <laughs> to, to really talk about. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. Bear with me. If you don't care about this, go to the next one. But I promised I would do this. I love dogs. Dogs are awesome. Cats, as far as I'm concerned, cats were made to be put into tacos. But, but dogs, I don't care. I've seen the most abusive, worthless owners maltreat their dogs, and those dogs just come back and love them. That is a trait that is unbelievable. How can you not admire, how can you not love an animal that will do that? If there was one trait in the animal world that I wish I could see applied to human beings, that may be the trait. So what's it like here in Ecuador? Well, first of all, it's a totally different world. There's no such thing as leash logs. Dogs run wild. Dogs kind of own their territory. Now, I'm sure it happens. I haven't seen it. There's probably some of these dogs that are dangerous and malicious. But for the most part, what you're going to see are dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of street dogs mixed in with dogs that probably have owners. And they roam and wander the streets. And when you're walking down the sidewalk, for the most part, they go out and around you and come back the other way. It's like they have their world and you have your world. And they don't meet that much. Depending on where you live, the neighborhood you live in Cuenca, barking dogs at night can be a huge problem. I am so happy the place that I have chosen here in Cuenca this time around. I looked for street dogs. I walked the neighborhood. There really aren't any street dogs here. I don't know why they don't venture here, but they don't. And so at night it's quiet. Unless the siren goes off when my dog starts, Arr! he he just can't help himself, or should I say she? I don't know why. It's a German Shepherd and it's a female, and I'm always calling her a he. I don't. Anyway, you you'll get the impression that people here almost could care less about dogs. They'll fawn over a certain dog, they get that dog, they want it, and then it's almost neglected. It just kind of goes and runs and might return home. You see a lot of unwashed dogs, dogs without collars, that have owners. They get into garbage. Um, they're kind of a general nuisance. And I don't know why the owners who profess to care so much about the dogs, in reality, kind of care very little for them. Uh, and again, this is just a huge generalization. But you'll see when you get here. Also has questions about my dog. He said, I noticed that you had a dog and then you got a second dog and now you're back to one dog. What happened? Well, I did bring that up in a video way, way back. I acquired Delta from somebody else who does videos, but I I was, uh, but I knew his son and now his wife, a Quincana, and they were moving to the coast and they, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but they needed to get rid of their dog. Maybe dogs weren't allowed. And it, it was brought up to me and it was at the same time I was looking for a dog. I've had dogs my entire life. I actually had kennels for a while. So they 
they walked the dog over and I, t and I took the dog. Her name was Delta and she was almost a year old. Had, had her shots and all of that was done. They took very good care of her. See, I'm saying her. So that was Delta. And I moved out to Hino. And life is good there for a dog. But Delta was kind of lonely. And so I decided to look for another dog for her. I was, I put the word out and I was contacted by someone who had found a German Shepherd street dog. And he said that he had her checked out and she was healthy. She was about seven or eight years old, as much as they could guess. It was kind of a sad situation. They found her in, would I take her? He couldn't keep any more dogs. He runs like a private shelter sort of thing. So I said, sure. So he brings her out, and here's this great big old female German Shepherd. A little on the ugly side for a German Shepherd, but one of the sweetest personalities I have ever seen in a dog. This dog was so sweet. It did have one issue, it, being a street dog, it thought garbage was survival, and so if garbage was anywhere near this dog, it was torn into which is okay, I understand, and you just take your precautions. But aside from that, this was the sweetest dog you would ever see. And they got along really well most of the time. It's funny because I had a pretty good sized property, and when they weren't getting along, you would see one on one end of the property, the other one on the other end of the property, and they would not cross paths, and that might go on for a couple days. They wouldn't even eat together. They would take shifts to eat. And then everything would be fine for weeks more at a time. And they would frolic and chase each other around and have a good old time. What happened was that dog I named Beta. I mean, I had a Delta, why not a Beta? So, Beta got lame and I talked to the vet and the vet checked things out and it turned out that um, she probably should have been put down. In her life she had contracted, uh, I, I can't even pronounce it, but uh, we'll just say a disease and it was degenerative and uh, fatal. So I couldn't I had a hard time putting her down, so I just stayed with her, and you could see every day it got worse and worse and worse until her back legs were paralyzed and she was trying to drag herself around, and, and then she just got more and more paralyzed, it worked up the body, and so I'm feeding her, it got to the point where I'm washing her every day and cleaning up after her every day, and, and then... Um, one day I came, she didn't seem to be in pain, um, and she was, like any dog, so happy to see you when you would, you know, come out and spend time with her, although her tail couldn't wag anymore. And one day I woke up and she was no more. So that's what happened to Beta. The best I can say is she had a great life for about a year after seven or eight years of apparent misery. So, there's that. Now let's get on to some practical topics. Is it hard to rent with a dog? No. Most places will accept a dog. People will be wary about pit bulls here like they will anywhere. And I know pit bull lovers the world over think it's an unfair rap, but it's not an unfair rap. It's bred into pit bulls to be the way they are. It's not their fault. It's in their DNA, and they were bred that way. But they are that way. And so here, it's the same thing. You may find landlords that are okay with a dog, but they might be a little leery about pit bulls. There are some places that won't accept a dog, and they're very upfront about it, because it's almost assumed that people have dogs. It's, it's a... 
it's a more common thing here than I think than in the States. There's certainly no lack of dogs to own if you choose to have one. I don't let Delta do it, but it is safe to let your dog out, let her run, be on her own. I don't let her do it because I don't want to be responsible for anything that could possibly happen. Delta would never bite anybody, but um, you never know what goes on and I just don't want to. We'll go to the park, walk her to the park, and at the park sometimes, you know, I'll let her off a leash and let her run. It was funny because the park, it's just like two blocks from this house, is the river. And she decided to climb down the rocks and take a look at the water. And the water was pretty fast moving. And so she just kept coming back up and going back down, coming back up, going back down. And finally she decided she was going to take a little swim. And the current was trying to pull her. And so she's frantically, which is kind of funny because it wasn't deep and she probably could have just stood up. But she was just kind of frantic a little bit, surprised her, and she worked her way over to the to the shore, climbed back up the rocks, and then the rest of the day she wouldn't go near the river. But she had she had a lot of fun, and everybody was screaming as she's shaking herself off, as dogs will do. So what more can I say about dogs? There are clinics here to, uh, there's a recent movement in the last few years for a spay and neuter. There's talk in uh, Cuenca about potentially rounding up street dogs, although nothing has happened. In Loja, they uh, passed an ordinance, and I believe I read that they had rounded up some dogs, street dogs. It is a problem. I think it's a serious problem. I think it's a health issue. You know, aside from the strewn garbage, you have all these dogs that are God knows where they are and what they're contracting and interacting with the population. I mean, it just can't be a good thing. So that's the best I can do on dogs. I can't think of anything else. If anybody has any particular question or anything in particular that they want to see, let me know. Uh, any other topic, by all means, let me know. Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, I appreciate you very much. And uh, we'll get to another topic. You know you could